J.J. Redick will lead the Lakers to a championship. J.J. Redick saved LeBron James' Lakers legacy. The Lakers are looking great right now. A lot of people had some things to say about the hiring of J.J. Redick. Didn't think it was going to work. He was just a yes man for LeBron James. But I think he's proved that he can coach at a high level. He's one of those people to where he obsesses with the game, watching game footage. Baron Davis saw him at a car wash. He was watching game film on his laptop. So that just lets you know that he really wants to win at a high level. This is something that he wanted to do for a while now. And the Lakers, they're in great hands right now. I think they got a coach for the future. He signed that four-year, $32 million contract. I think if he can put together a few successful seasons, win a championship, he's going to be one of those coaches that's going to be around for at least eight to ten years with the Lakers. They're trying to prepare without LeBron James right now. You got an AD that's playing at an elite level, averaging over 31 points per game, multiple 30-point games, setting Lakers records. He's just doing great things right now. You haven't seen this version of AD since he was on the Pelicans when he was number one. Now that they got J.J. Redick there, looks like they have a system in place. Bron is okay being that number two option, maybe number three, depending on if Rui's having a hot night. If Austin Reeves is having a hot night, LeBron is going to have to pick his spots. Yeah, he may have a bad game like he did with the Phoenix Suns, 11 points, 3 or 14 shooting. You're not going to get that too much with LeBron James, but at the end of the day, AD still scored 29. It was a competitive game versus the Suns. They should have won that game because they were up by like 14, 15 points in the first quarter. They were doing their thing, but they took their foot off the gas. But you're not going to see too many games where the Lakers are up damn near 20 points and they lose. Phoenix is a good team. At least the Lakers were competitive. But at the end of the day, man, J.J. Redick, he's just on another level as far as coaching. They haven't had that since Phil Jackson. Darvin Ham, he did his thing, made it to a Western Conference Finals. Frank Vogel won a championship, I believe, in his first season. Got the boot shortly after that. But I think J.J. Redick, there's something there with them. Again, man, I wasn't too high on the hiring of J.J. Redick only because I thought he was going to be that yes man. He's working for LeBron James. He's not going to be able to coach him. He's going to have to do everything LeBron James says, which can still be the case. I'm not saying that he's not a yes man, but at least he's able to coach LeBron. I think there's some footage going around with him yelling at LeBron, telling him to shoot the ball. That just lets you know the respect that they have with each other. J.J. Reddick's being able to let him know, like, look, LeBron, play defense, shoot the ball, do what you got to do for us to win, and most importantly, allow AD to be the number one option. I think that's what you're seeing right now, these first four games with the Lakers. As long as AD's the first option, if LeBron could be cool with scoring between 18 and 20 points per game, there's something there with the Lakers. There's something there with AD being number one and J.J. Redick being the coach and really getting the best out of his players. So he's really encouraging the Austin Reeves, the Rui Hachimaras, the D'Lo's. He's encouraging them to be the best version of themselves. When you have a coach that believes, you're going to have success. So right now, I know it's early in the season. There's only four games in, 78 more to go, and maybe the playoffs. But right now, the Lakers, they're looking like something. They're looking like an actual team. They got the whole Bronny James thing out the way. It's going to ramp back up with the whole Cleveland game. But other than that, that's pretty much what they're doing for LeBron. We're going to let Bronny get some run with you a couple games here and there. But send him to the G League. Let him disappear from the spotlight. No need to talk about Bronny James. He's not ready to be in the NBA. Maybe he can do some things in the G League, build his confidence, put together a game plan of how he's going to play in the NBA. But right now, man, You got something great with the Lakers. No need for all that media scrutiny going on. Lock in. Be successful on the court. Let J.J. Redick do his thing. Allow Anthony Davis to be the number one option. AD, man, he's looking great. Looking like an MVP candidate. Looking like a defense of the player candidate. He can possibly win MVP and defense of the year if LeBron allows him to be the best version of himself. If AD can stay healthy couple factors here and there, but it just all starts with players buying in. And that's what you're getting with J.J. Reddick. Players are buying in. The team is buying in. And things are looking great right now. Again, few games in. Everything looks great. The first 10 games of the season. But I'm interested to see how this season plays out with the Lakers. But right now, they're looking like a championship team. Shout out to J.J. Reddick for changing the culture of the Los Angeles Lakers. Like, subscribe, comment. What do you think about J.J. Reddick coaching so far? Do you think the Lakers have a chance of winning a championship this season? I want to know your thoughts about this. Like, subscribe, comment. Peace.